Hi everyone, this is Ankit Kumar Sahu Rajbir with unofficial answer ki aap UGC and TA net English. Dear friends, in this video we are going to discuss the answer of expected answer of the question that uh, the exam that was held on 26th of June 2019. Dear friends, with the help of this answer key, you can match your responses how much correct answer you had given in your exam. Dear friends, uh, I am bringing for you a new batch for upcoming uh, exam of NTA net that will be held in December. So dear friends, you can also join me on an academy plus you can enjoy the lectures given by me. So dear friends, let's start with the video and in this video, in this particular video, we will discuss the first 50 question of your exam. Then in my next video, we will have the another 50 questions of your exam. So dear friends, let's start the video. Dear friends, this is the very first question of this paper. The question is matching match works from their authors. So dear friends, let's start the matching. First of all, if we know the any single name or any author and his related work. As I know if I know the mirror and the lamp. This work, the mirror and the lamp, that has been authored by whom? This has been written by M. H. Abraham. So first of all, we start matching. So we match C to 1. And now we will see in option, where is C to 1? So dear friends, C1 is in fourth option. So that's why the right answer is fourth one. Which one is the right answer? Fourth one is the right answer of this question. Now we will proceed to the next question. Who among the following analyze the nutrition of cannotative meaning into myths? So dear friends, the right answer is Roland Barth. Fourth one is the right answer. Now we will see the third one. This Sadler Commission report was critical of the quality of student graduating from the university and had very perspective remarks on English and the use of mother tongue in English Educ in Indian education. So dear friends, the answer is the right answer of this question is the second one is the right answer. This one the st to study the problems of Calcutta University. Second one is the right answer. Next question. What was Gramsci's term for cultural conscious supporting capitalism? So the uh, the term that has been given by Antonio Gramsci as I have told already told in my video this one is cultural hegemony. So the fourth one is the right answer. Uh, the next one is who is the author of Ishe, the rational of the copy text who have written the work the rational of the copy text. Uh, the work, the rational of the copy text has been written by W. W. Craig. Yani second, it means second is the right answer. Uh, now we are proceeding to the next one question. This one is what is the meaning of Lang in Sasurian linguistics? The meaning of Lang in Sasurian linguistic is language in the abstract sense. The fourth one is the right answer. What is the right answer? The right answer is fourth one. Proceeding to the next one question. Who is referred to as beast in the court? Kill the beast, cut his throat, spoil his blood in William Golding's Lord of the Flies. The right answer of this question is Simon. Simon is the right answer of this question. The next one question is which of the following sociologist ideas on the practice of receiving and giving gifts are used by J. H. Miller to reinforce the argument in AC critic as host. So this one is the right answer of this question is the right answer of this question is Marcel Mouse. The third one is the right answer Marcel Mouse. Dear friends, the next one question is match each 
of the following concepts objects with the corresponding description so dear friends uh, we will start the matching the first matching uh, about what uh, about the thing what we know we know what is closet trauma so now we will start uh, we will see in next part what is closet trauma so closet trauma as you know that the drama written to be read that in rather than acted so dear friends the answer of this question question number nine is so first of all we start matching closet drama to second one and we will see where it's d to second one so dear friends let's see d to second is in second option so second is the right answer now we will see the next one which of the following descriptions fits the unit of verse dactylic so the dactylic what is the meaning of dactylic i have already uh, told you about dactylic iambic and chalky uh, all these meter i have discussed in my videos so dear friends the right answer is two one stressed syllable what is one stressed syllable followed by two unstressed syllable the next one question is read the following lines in a station of metro this one is the poem by ezra pound and ezra pound is basically basically known for his imagism so dear friends the right answer of this question in a station of metro and these are the lines the apparition of these fences in crowd petals on a weight black bow so dear friends here imagism is used fourth one is the right answer of this question the next one question is Oh, which of the following are Plato's beliefs act towards Sally countering by saying that poets are the unacknowledged legislator of mankind so dear friends uh, in this question here is a little bit confusion but uh, I am pretty sure that the answer will be banishment of poets from the Republic the first one will be the right answer the next one question is uh, the next one is which among the following clusters matches the prose style that come to be known as Carly's so dear friends the right answer of this question question number uh, question number 13 the right answer of this question number 13 is frequent ellipses so dear friends uh, I am uh, a little bit confused about this answer but I think the right answer will be second one question mark long sentence and phrase in phrases in friends dear friends this may be the right answer of this question the next one question is the great english novelist star jane austen george Eliot, henry james joseph contract which and which one of the following critical text began with the above assertion dear friends the book that began with this assertion is written by fr lewis the name of the book is the great tradition this one is the right answer so third one is the right answer of 14th question number 14th next question is while looking for publication detail of a book a researcher may consult the book's copyright page which may appear dear friends you know uh, invariably the reverse of the title page this one is the right answer third one is the right answer of this question the next one question is which of the following statement is true in terms of distribution of metrical fit which one is the right answer so dear friends the right answer of the question number 16 is third one iambic to chalky as anapestic is to tactic dear friends the next one question is what in sum it's Sydney's point in the following nature never set forth the earth is so rich tapestry dear friends you can read the question but I am going to tell you the answer the answer of this question is works of art are superior to the natural world they represent dear friends uh, this may be the right answer of this question the next one question is uh, for which one of the following uh, regions in Oscar Wilde's novel the picture of Dorian Gray Gray breaks down when he sees his uh, finished portrait the right answer of this question is the third one is the right answer this uh, this taught by the fact that his beauty will fade while the portrait stays beautiful so third one is the right answer of the question 18 next one question is 
in which of Anita Desai's novel does an insane wife kill her husband? So the, so the right answer of this question will be Cry the Peacock, where Maya who kills her husband. Dear friends, the next one question is question number 20. Uh, which of the following combinations correctly defines the phonological system of Indian English in relation to standard English? Dear friends, the right answer of this question is simplified vowel system. The next one question is culture in ordinary that it is the first fact which one of the following is the source of this statement dear friends the source of this statement is resources of hope second is the right answer of the question the next one question is 22 the medieval english university organized its studies based on the seven liberal arts three of these the trivium refer to the study of dear friends the right answer of this question is fourth one grammar logic and rhetoric the next one question is why did t.s eliot assert that Virgil not homer is the poet of europe so dear friends the right answer of this question is uh, according to me the right answer will will be uh, fourth one and but i am not pretty sure so dear friends this uh, I am not giving you the exact answer of this question. Uh, we will proceed to the next one question. The next one is, who speaks the following line and to whom? Oh, look upon me, sir, and hold your hands in benediction. Oh, me. No, sir, you must not kneel. Dear friends, this speech has been taken from King Lear and this is spoken by Corelia to Lear. Second one is the right answer. The next one question is which of the following statement best describes T.S. Eliot's assertion that Shakespeare's Hamlet is an artistic failure. So dear friends uh, when we talk about the artistic failure of uh, Shakespeare's Hamlet then uh, T.S. Eliot said that this was not adequately objectified. So first one is the right answer. First one is the right answer of this question. Dear friends, the next one question is Which of the following poems by Thomas Hardy was originally titled by the century's deathbed? The right answer of this question is The Darkling Thress. Third one is the right answer. The next one question is What is the name of the poetic style characterized by short stacto rhyme line as shown below? Dear friends, this one poetic style is known as skeletonic dear friends the fourth one is the right answer of this question the next one question is from which greek word does the term comedy drives and what does it mean so dear friends the word comedy has been derived from komoidia dear friends the rival song second one is the right answer dear friends the next one question is who says the following lines and to who if it be ought toward the general good, sit honor in one eye and death other, and I will look on both indifferently. So, dear friends, the right answer of this question, question number 29, is Brutus to Cassius. This speech has been spoken by Brutus to Cassius. The next one question is identify the stage that falls between the imaginary and symbolic stage according to Jacques Laka. So dear friends, this one will be the intermediate stage. Fourth one will be the right answer. Dear friends, the next one question is, what is the what is being described by Wordsworth in the following lines from his poem, The Thorn? So dear friends, in his poem, The Thorn, William Shakespeare have described, I have measured it from side to side. It is three feet long and two feet wide. Dear friends, the right answer of this one is uh, fallen bow. First one is the right answer. Next one question is from among the following, identify the two correct statements in Johnson's criticism of Shakespeare. So, dear friends, the right answer of this question is. Dear friends, I am not sure about 
this uh, questions answer exactly so we will left this one and we will also uh, we are uh, proceeding to the next one this one is what is euphasm uh, the 33 uh, question number 13 3 this one is what is euphasm euphasm is a discursive and hotary style of writing dear friends this one is the right answer second one is the right answer the next one question is what uh, which one of the following correctly describes the meaning of Macbeth's words life is but a walking shadow dear friends the right answer of this question is life is just devoid of stability dear friends the next one question is match the character with the novel so dear friends here we will match the character uh, with the novel so dear friends if we know about any character that appears in novel so dear friends if I know about that Miss Havisham that appears in great expectation so now we will see where is C to 1 so dear friends we will see in the option C to 1 is in second option so second will be the right answer the next one question is who of the following are being talked about in the following lines so dear friends in the following lines uh, who uh, who are being talked about in the following lines you seem to understand me by each at one her choppy finger lying upon her skinny lips you should be women and yet your words for me forbid me to interpret that you are so so dear friends these are the lines from Macbeth and spoken by witches so dear friends the next one uh, question is what is the priced entry to Oedipus in the opening scene of Oedipus Rex so dear friends the right answer of this question is two red thieves of the plague that afflicts its people the next one question is in T.S. Eliot's love song of J. Alfred Fogg, who among the following painter is the subject of conversation among the Param relating women. So, dear friends, Michael Andrew. The third one option is the right answer of this question. The next one question is He that is not with us is against us. He that is not against us is with us. Who said this? Said this. So, dear friends, this statement has been uh, made by Francis Bacon. The second one is the right answer. The next one question is which one of the following arrangement of poet in it uh, is in the correct chronological order so dear friends the correct chronological order of these option is option number third is right lyman william langland and william dunbar the next one question is 41 by which two of the following process according to michael foucault the spar operate so dear friends uh, the right answer of this question is B and D. The third one is the right answer. The next one question is What according to Raymond William is the right description of the term cultural materialism? So dear friends, the, the right description of cal cultural materialism is uh, the material effect that culture has in wider social life the third one is the right answer the next one question is which edition of lyrical ballad was the first one to have the preface by wordsworth in 1800 edition there we find preface this uh, second one is the right answer the next one question is match the books with the writers and here we are uh, we are going to match uh, of these options and their books so mad women in attic mad women in attic has been written by sandra and gilbert and susan gobar so dear friends first to four so now we will see in option where is first to four so in third option there is first to four so this one will be the right answer third one is the right answer of this question and 45 now we will see the 45 match the following items ideas with the writers who first used popularized term so dear friends if we know about the term that has been given by the uh, authors or writers so here is third space third space has been given by whom the third space has been given by homi ke bhava so now we will see in the option c to second 
so uh, here is the c2 second c2 second is in two options so now we will see the next one um, c2 second is in uh, first and in third so it means uh, first or third one of them uh, one of these is right it may be the first or it may be the third one uh, now we will see lost generation this term has been given by gertrude stain so b24 so now we will see where is v24 so v24 is in third option so right answer is the third one is the right answer of this one and dear friends this uh, the next one is what term used by Fourier and this assured corresponds to norm chemeski's term performance so dear friends uh, sashore has used the correspondence to norm chemeski's term performance the word parole the right answer of this question is parole now we will proceed to the next one question this is the 47th question of this paper considering the story of the novel what does the title Dombey and Son stand for so dear, dear friends the right answer of this question is it suggests the choice between a son and a daughter this one is the right answer first one is the right answer of this question the next one is which of the following book is written by an Englishman in universal Latin so dear friends the answer of this question is you can read whole question but uh, the work that uh, appeared in 1516 is utopia the next one question is which novel by James G Farrell describes the experience of a polio victim so dear friends uh, the right answer of this question is troubles is the right answer first one is the right answer the next one question is and the last question of this video and the remaining 50 question I will bring in my next video uh, so given below are two statement one is labeled as assertion and the other one labeled as reason so which one is the right answer so dear friends uh, the right answer of this question is sometime unknown but uh, I would like to say that the right answer of this question will be uh, so second one is the right answer both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a so you can see second one is the right answer but i am not pretty sure about this question so dear friends in my next video we will discuss about the remaining 50 question of our exam thank you